Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on Typhoon Sun, but this Saturday as you continue to watch the system slowly moves its way to the north and approaching the island of Okinawa, lo roughly located approximately 300 kilometers south southeast. Maximum sustained winds have decreased slightly to 195 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 280. The system is currently moving north northwestward and accelerated slightly to 20 kilometers per hour. The latest visible satellite image shows some improvement in terms of the organization of the storm compared to earlier this morning. See, the eye has reappeared actually, a very, uh, well, much bigger eye um, compared to 6 to 12 hours ago and also looks very symmetrical. The system has uh, completed the eye wall replacement cycle which began roughly 36 hours ago and looking at the latest microwave image, you can see the eye wall of the system becoming established once again uh, no more concentric eye walls and again showing you the uh, eye becoming much more established as well looking also at the infrared image you can see the system definitely much l much healthier um, from early this morning you can see a very symmetrical appearance and also again that convective activity starting to increase again uh, cloud tops have uh, have cooled um, and also that I continues to uh, improve um, by the hour. Now you can also see some convection from the outflow of the system start to starting to impact Okinawa and that is bringing rains and also uh, winds from uh, from the islands. You can see latest reports from JMA showing you winds of around uh, 30 to 40 kilometers across Okinawa and the nearby Ryukyu Islands. Uh, in fact, Tairojima Islands which are located roughly 300 kilometers east of Okinawa re is reporting or are reporting uh, seeing sustained winds of up to 50 to even 60 kilometers per hour so nearing tropical storm force across Daitojima and also gusts of up to fifth uh, gusts of up to 80 kilometers are also starting to be reported across Daitojima and even into the island of Okinawa so obviously uh, those winds will continue to increase uh, throughout the night and peaking by early Sunday morning and also rains beginning to impact uh, the islands here looking at the latest radar image from JMA showing the outer bands from Sanban starting to move in from the south and south southeast along those bands are embedded uh, with uh, strong squalls of thunders thunderstorms and rain showers with high uh, rainfall amounts some can have the potential to bring as much as 30 millimeters per hour so and obviously those rains will start uh, to get more heavy to get heavier as the day wears on you can also see the radar from Okinawa starting to actually pick up the eye wall of the system as it moves within the radar's range starting to see that very strong rainfall rates around the uh, center of the system now let's look at the uh, short-term forecast just to give you an idea on when we will expect landfall and the strongest winds. This is from JMA, uh, latest 24-hour forecast and these dots basically represent three-hour intervals and th this dot base here south, just south of Okinawa represent or roughly south southeast of Okinawa I should say represents uh, 21 Zulu because this, this is 6 Zulu 9 12 15 18 and 21 Zulu which would be around 6 a.m. Uh, Japan time Sunday morning and that is when uh, JMA is forecasting a landfall as a strong typhoon violent typhoon uh, as what they're classifying this perhaps near the town of Miyagijima or into the town of Higashi along the northern side of the island but again before that we could probably see typhoon force winds begin to impact Okinawa by midnight and then peaking by roughly between 3 a.m. 3 to 9 a.m. with the landfall expected again by 6 a.m. We, we couldn't really pinpoint where and when exactly the landfall point would occur but give you an idea on, on, on the timeline of this system in the next 24 hours now after after the peak winds we will still continue to see typhoon force into probably the early afternoon hours and in fact 
uh, tropical storm force winds would probably stay across Okinawa and the rest of the Ryukyu Islands perhaps as, as late as uh, Sunday evening depending on the speed of the system. Now after that the uh, Typhoon Sanba will now move into East China Sea by Sunday evening again uh, interacting with the mid-latitude trough moving into eastern China increasing wind shear and also cooler waters will will start to weaken the system perhaps to a category 2 by Monday I'm sorry, by Sunday evening and to a category 1 by early Monday morning just before it makes landfall in South Korea and looking at the forecast from the computer models showing a very good agreement nearly straight line from all the four models located in this included in this image showing a landfall uh, near uh, well west of the city of Busan and then moving perhaps moving near the city of Seoul actually by Monday uh, early Monday morning looking at the forecast though from JTWC they have shifted their track a little bit to the east compared to the computers uh, basically accounting for that approaching trough from the east from the west so forecasting a much nearer landfall to Busan probably within 100 kilometers forecasting this to make a landfall as a category 1 typhoon um, weakening to a tropical storm upon landfall then moving into the Sea of Japan by Monday evening perhaps making a second landfall either in North Korea or in the Russian Far East near the city of Vladivostok you know Vladivostok uh, was the host of the APEC summit which was held roughly a week ago so very good timing here in terms of the development of the system not really impacting uh, that summit thankfully it's still going to be a very serious threat not only for Okinawa and South Korea but also uh, across the interests here in North Korea and also uh, in and around Vladivostok in Russia. Finally this is the forecast from JMA nearly similar track with JTWC again forecasting to move across Okinawa and then to the north perhaps making landfall by well they have the landfall time a little bit later compared to JTWC forecasting actually landfall by Monday noon uh, compared to JTWC's forecast of Monday morning and also in fact JMA is actually being in terms of in terms of intensity they are somewhat bullish in terms of the intensity for the system expecting Sanba to maintain typhoon intensity as it makes landfall near Vladivostok by mon uh, Tuesday afternoon here so some differences in terms of the intensity is something that will need to be watched in the next few hours but in terms of the uh, overall strength of the system it will probably weaken uh, that time again due to the uh, unfavorable conditions in this region and also the system could probably start uh, transitioning more into an exotropical cyclone by the time it moves across the Korean Peninsula. And finally before we end our video update just want to quickly look at the western pacific here we have Typhoon Sam and also look at that moisture extending from Indochina across the South China Sea into the Philippines and in fact we're seeing some heavy rains impacting Luzon particularly Manila Early this morning, it recorded nearly 200 millimeters of rain. Expectedly, uh, bring some uh, some major roads to a halt as, as flooding rains impacted the capital, even forcing cancellations of many schools and universities. Right now, though, this, that rain has weakened, although we are still seeing some showers move in from the west. In fact, a low pressure is sp has been spotted just west of Luzon, spinning right around. Uh, west of the province of Zambales it's not that's in Vest 91 which is not expected to develop in the next 24 to 48 hours but as it as that low pressure area moves into the Philippine Sea in the next two to three days you could probably see some development from that system that something need to be watched as well but right now all eyes are on Typhoon San but it nears its way to Okinawa and also for the uh, residents across South Korea should continue to monitor the system and prepare now if you haven't done so definitely the system could move into your area by Monday morning that concludes our video update for today continue checking out the official forecast agencies for the warnings and uh, forecast for your region JMA and also South Korea Kadena Air Base also check that out 
the Canadian Air Base is actually now under T Core 1. Expecting winds of 50 knots or greater to occur within 12 hours, so please uh, definitely stay indoors now into the evening hours and as we move into Sunday morning. I've mentioned yesterday that our meteorologist Robert Spero is moving into Okinawa to film uh, Typhoon Samba together with James Reynolds. Unfortunately, his flight was cancelled, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, um, due to again to that increase in winds across Okinawa, probably for the better in terms of cancellations of flights. Although James Reynolds was already in Okinawa to film probably see some very great uh, very good footage from his all is said and done if you have your own videos as well and images not suggesting to to go outside definitely but if you if you can manage to to shoot or uh, shoot footage from your window please share them with us and also images uh, from the af aftermath of Sanba by Sunday or two sorry Sunday and mo Monday and please uh, Share that with us at philippineweather.yahoo.com and also email them to robertspera at westernpacificweather.com. Stay safe. Bye-bye.